Verbe Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Verbe Hills. Guys, I have some iced tea for you because it is time to recap the last episode of The Real Housewife of Salt Lake City. And there is so much to talk honestly but before we get into it like always do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel guys we are on a race to 15k so if you are new here and you want to join the very troop the only thing that you need to do is subscribe 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 and hit the notification bell and let's talk about this mess because it was messy this episode honestly guys look i already have my opinion of each one of the ladies or used to have it you know like who are my favorites who are my like regular who i don't like at all you know but this episode really messed everything up for me because i saw a side to all the ladies who went to vegas and are important that i didn't i mean it really changed my perspective you know and i was okay let's let's just talk about this okay the episode starts with the dinner, uh, they're all at Las, uh, uh, sorry guys, Latino moment. They were at Las Vegas. They were in Vegas. You know, I mean, you know what I want to say. Anyways, they were there. They were going to dinner. Lisa is talking to Meredith about their reconciliation with Whitney, how they decided to have a, uh, clean slate everything is gonna be fine you know let's just give her another chance we'll see what is gonna happen blah 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 uh they start talking a little bit about jen because jen's still feeling that whitney's apologies is not sincere and that there is more to the story right there okay even though she accepted whitney's apologies and i will have to say that was a mistake that jen did on on the bathtubs on the spa the weird spa you know because i think that she should have been more like like you know what i appreciate that you are trying to apologize but i am not there yet so let me just process everything and then we'll pick this up on another situation if that's the way she was feeling you know but she she decided to accept the apology so of course it's kind of normal that whitney will be like okay I apologize she said like okay I thought that we move on you know so but Jen still feeling that you know that grudge so talking about that Jen comes in and ugh, Jen I love you because I think you have so much to give but that character and that explosion that fast is not gonna help you all the time it i mean it has been too much this season honestly and i know that you are not an angry woman and i know that you don't like to be labeled like an angry person or explosive person and you that's the way you are and i understand because i i i know personal friends who are like that who just go from zero to a hundred in a moment and they are very passionate about what they are trying to express but when you react that explosiveness uh when you react like that everything gets lost because people are not listening to you people know are not understanding what you are trying to say and people are only seeing this girl acting crazy going from side to side screaming things that doesn't even make sense if you know what i i mean if you guys understand what i'm trying to say so the whole deal and i understand the the whole what jen is trying to to put out there is that she doesn't understand why lisa and meredith forgive whitney so easily after the she throw them under the bus and she's trying to say someone is lying here someone needs to tell the truth okay did you because lisa and meredith and say we did not talk to mary we never said that we are afraid of jen okay so someone is clearly lying you know it's either lisa and meredith or is mary or is Whitney right but someone is lying and I'm guessing that Jen I mean I think that what Jen is trying to do is like because she is so passionate and she 
is so like these people are supposed to be my friends then who is like why all this shit you know and this could be so easily and to just like sit down and like really you know let's talk about this but i feel like now all the girls are on the defensive you know against jen understandably because I, again when jen becomes this like monster you know it's very hard because you cannot deal with her there is no way when you are screaming and you are throwing your nails uh, like she did to to heather and you are like doing this and the people faces you know and all this shit no one no one is gonna hear to, uh, no one is gonna hear you no one no one is gonna care to hear you so jen really needs to work on a way to communicate effectively with people because girl you have anger issues that is called anger management basically um meredith end up leaving very angry at jen because basically jen is trying to say i don't want you to be friends with whitney you know like whitney is being fake how are you condoning whitney saying these lies about you and I think it's that Jen doesn't understand that. Like, why? Like, this girl is literally going around telling shit about you. How are you going to forgive that? And maybe that's in part of, like, Jen's character, that she will not have a person like that around that, you know? But at the end of the day, you cannot tell people who they can be friends or not. Even if that's your mom, your uh, sons, your husband, your dog your uh, best friend you cannot tell people who they can be friends with or not you know at the end of the day it, it's just the way it is so meredith it's right right there she was like i cannot deal with this situation i'm so sorry i'm not gonna you're not gonna tell me who i can be friends uh, with or not and of course you're starting to get crazy you know and and, and you know a little bit more uh there so Meredith is not gonna deal with that now, on the other side, also, Meredith needs to stop walking away from situations. I love that she explained finally why she, I'm not engaging, I'm not engaging, I'm disengaging, you know. Um, and I'm glad that she explained why. But on Real Housewife World and Real Housewife Universe, where you are right now, you cannot be disengaging all the time. You actually need to engage. You actually need to stay and confront Jen, you know? And sometimes you will have to scream. And sometimes you're gonna have to tell her, bitch, shut the fuck up and you're gonna listen to me, okay? Because if you start like doing that thing of like, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, then you're leaving all the conversations in the air. Also, no resolution. And let's be honest, the fans doesn't like it and Bravo doesn't like it either. So you need to start finding a way to empower yourself on those situations, which I know are hard for you because of what you explain and just put it out there, you know? Um, Heather comes with Whitney. Jane completely loses it, you know, goes against Whitney. I mean, it was a mess. It was a mess. Again, do I feel Whitney was in the wrong? Yes, 100%. Why she should she choose to do that on uh, co Coach, Coach, Shaw, yeah, whatever. On his birthday, I don't understand it because she knew, she knew how important was this parry to Jen. And I'm so sorry, but by now, by that moment, you have already seen Jen react to many situations so you already know that she was gonna react the way she was gonna react that bullshit that oh i thought i thought her husband was gonna be there and she was gonna be a good girl bullshit you know that that was not gonna happen you were looking for a reaction and jen you know by the thing and just jen gave her what she wanted to
you know and that's why yen needs to work on the way she reacts because now she's becoming the angry woman now she's becoming the crazy one the one who reacts the bipolar the blah 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 all these labels that people are trying to put on her you know and it's because now people know how she reacts because she has been doing it literally since the episode since since episode one okay so she really needs to learn to come down but was Whitney on on the wrong yes 100 i do not think that that was the right place or time to tell that to jen without even any kind of verification other than mary telling her you know if all this shit is true right there after mary told whitney what the, uh, that lisa and mary did um were talking shit about Jen, I will have called Lisa and Meredith, both of them, and I will have to ask them, hey, Mary is saying this. Mary is saying this, Mary is saying that. Is it true? Is it not true? You know? But she didn't do any of that. She decided to go to Jen to throw them under the bus. Maybe they're, maybe they're new. All of them are new on this housewife war. But the, the second thing that I have to say, always ask for receipts. Okay, you cannot believe anything because there are some people out there who are so thirsty for attention, for a spotlight, that they will do anything, you know, they will make up lies, they will say any shit just to get a reaction, just to get to be part of the show. So you always ask for receipts. Oh, this person told you that? Okay, what is the conversation? You know what? At this point, you don't have a voice conversation. Everything is through text. Because you need to have those receipts. So, yeah, I think Whitney was in the wrong 100%. 100%, honestly. Um, I'm loving how Lisa is becoming this. Because, honestly, at the beginning, I thought that Lisa and Meredith were going to be, like, very um, classy. I mean, not classy. I mean, they are classy. I mean, but I thought that they were going to be, like, uh, quiet. You know, like they, I, I didn't see them like as big personalities, but now I'm the thing. I'm obsessed with most of the ladies, honestly, and I'm loving how Lisa is actually doing what Meredith should be doing, too. And it's actually engaging. I mean, the fact that Lisa went behind Jen and told her we are not leaving things like this. You are going to come back right now. You need to talk about it you know and she she was angry she was like this is too much this is stupid okay so come back come back do this do that she was like the leader of the group you know and i love 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 her for doing that because that's how you survive on house with universe honestly um so at the end of the day everything is a mess jen live blah 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 uh, then they all go back. I think it was to the room or something to talk. Meredith finally, finally coming out of the open marriage closet. Not that they have an open marriage right now, but the fact that they, she finally was able to say, yes, we have been in a situation before. We have been separated on and off for many, many years. We both have dated other people. That's it. That's finally, finally, because look you are now in the public eye so everything is fair game nothing is private anymore nothing will be private anymore so the fact that jen or whitney or heather or anyone is talking like oh i saw meredith with that guy i saw meredith with this well if you don't give any clarifications what do you think people are gonna expect from uh from you what do you think that people are gonna really like uh think about you well that you're cheating on your husband now, fine, at least we can say, oh, yeah, I mean, they were separated. They were dating other people. It's not a big deal at the end of the day. It's not a big deal because marriages are not perfect. Marriages are very hard, and you have to do what you have to do sometimes. Actually, very successful marriages who are, like, for years, they find a way to work through all these issues and to do all the shit that they need to go through, okay? Okay. So I'm very, very proud of Meredith for like finally coming out and say like, okay, this is the truth. 
which is what we want also so okay now we can move on from that shit because everyone was like who is married the cheater who is married doing this oh what is going over here no they were separated they were dating other people okay let's move on from that that's it easy right now next day Ugh, guys so much on this episode honestly next day apparently jen left right so they're gonna go to see this hypnotherapist thing right and whitney goes first with lisa and meredith try to process everything that happened last night blah 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 and um Heather goes to Jen's room to pick up something just to realize that Jen is still actually there because she was supposed to be already out. And Jen is like, oh no, I was I, I was already out, but my, my people, they, they love me so much. They convinced me to stay. Bitch, you know that the producers were like, you are not going anywhere, okay? You need to stay. You have a contract. You want to be fired? No, then you have to stay. Come back. Bring your ass here over back, you know? Uh, but anyways, it was cute that she tried. Um, the only thing that I'm really concerned about Jen, and if you ever see this video, please, Glam Squad is not your friend. Please. We have seen it many, many times with other housewives and other people. Glam Squad is not your friends. Glam Squad are your employees. Okay, and they will tell you that you are perfect, amazing, beautiful, and that you are right 100% of the time only because you are paying them. The second, the second you stop paying one of them, they're gonna go around, open their mouth, and being like, Oh, Jen used to say this, oh, Jen used to do that, oh, Jen this, Jen that. So they are not your friends, and you need to really be careful with that since now. Actually, Glam Squad it's really not a good thing to have anymore look at erica jane look at um who else have a glam squad i think dorit used to have a glam squad some of them have a glam squad you know here and there but it's different to have a glam squad just to like you know do your things and another thing is talking to them like they are your best friends because they are not again look at erica jane her glam squad doesn't want to work with her anymore because she's in such a big mess and they are all around opening the little mouths here and there sharing all the shit that happened when they were together but when they were paying her when erica jane was paying the forty thousand dollars a month oh they were perfect they are my best friends they are my people they're my gays they my girls together forever i mean no girl they are not your friends do not trust on the glam squad. Have them, have fun with them. They are amazing people, I, I bet they are, but they are not your friends. Your friends are the people who are there for you, who tell you when you're right, when you're wrong, without you having to give them a check. It's that simple. So, again, so she is with the glam squad, you know, everything. Um, Heather starts talking to her and basically telling her like, you were the one in the wrong. But again, and I cannot stress this enough, I don't feel that Jen was in the wrong. Her delivery is in the wrong, but I understand what she's trying to say because someone is lying and we need to find out who that someone is. But you, but she is not, the only thing that she was in the wrong was becoming aggressive because you cannot, you can never be aggressive, okay? But the, the what is behind the aggressiveness, you are not wrong for that. But anyways, um, they kind of fight a little bit over there. Heather is like, uh, I am your best friend. I will always tell you the truth. Um, because of some videos that I have done and said uh, before, I finally really, because I did the videos based on, th on some things that I learned here and there. But I'm really, really starting to realize that those rumors might be really, really true. There are something on Heather that I do not trust related to Jen. I don't know if it's an obsession that she wants to be Jen's best friend forever and she's jealous of Lisa and Meredith 
or there is something else i don't know there is i feel that there is something there that heather is really trying to manipulate people around and now it's starting to affect jen instead of helping her i don't know it's it's a big mess guys you have if you don't know what i'm talking about go to my real housewife of salt lake city playlist there are some videos that i have done over there about heather and some things that i have discovered so just look into it but yeah i starting to see that these rumors are probably true about heather and it is very sad because heather is a fan favorite um visually like what we see on the tv she looks amazing and she looks like a very nice person but there is way more to the story over there that i mean i'm not gonna say is 100 percent truth until we know for sure but there is definitely something behind that um they do the whole hy hypnosis thing you know relaxation whatever and then they goes into like this whole group therapy you know trying to talk um jen apologized to meredith but that apology was like a little bit mm, you know because jen i understand jen is the kind of person who is like i'm so sorry bad i'm so sorry about this i'm so sorry but this is what was happening because she was she's trying to she's trying to be that kind of person that is like that it it is not my fault you know i'm sorry but there are situations around that that it needs to be understood and you know what it is true i'm sometimes yeah people are like you need to be apologetic you need to just say i'm so sorry and that's that you know but some many times it's not like that many times situations happens for a reason so i do think it's valid for sometimes to say i'm so sorry but i did what i did because of that you know so the other person will be able to say you know what i accept your apology and i understand where you're coming from instead of just saying i'm sorry and then you said the other person is gonna say okay i accept your apology and then i accept that you, you are crazy as fuck see there is a difference um well the fact that all the girls said that they don't trust jen i do understand the girls too and it's all because of jen's craziness you know of course you're not gonna trust someone who is gonna scream and hit everyone around them every time there is a disagreement so yeah i understand why they say they don't trust her and now you see that jen actually say i don't trust heather and you can and it's gonna be playing really hard into the season finale and the reunion guys because again there is way more to the story right there um i'm i'm loving salt lake city i mean the amount of drama that is giving us honestly it is very good they and these ladies are amazing i'm loving i'm obsessed with lisa i love meredith i love jen i like heather um yeah i mean whitney whatever and uh, yeah i mean they're giving me life to be honest uh anyways let me know what you guys thought in the comments below if you agree, if you disagree, just let me know everything. That's why we're here, just to have a discussion, discussion, right? And don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you around. See ya.